Break a throw straight away then for Phil Taylor. Already work to do for Shelton, but this of course a much longer game now. It's first to 16 game as we've off. seen. And no game of the three quarterfinals completed thus far has gone to the tie-break situation. A 15 all and beyond. 96. Taylor had a little bit of a wobble in his opening match against Wes Newton. It took him four or five legs to settle. But since then, it has been the Taylor, the all-powerful, all-conquering Taylor of old. This time he has started right in the groove. He is grooving. Yeah, against Kevin Painter, 13-6. He won nine legs on the trot, and the longest leg was 16 hours. He had a tremendous... <laughs> that's the forecast. But in reality, this man might have something to say about that, especially without a fling in like that. The flying Dutchman Schulten will have to fly right through this game as high as he possibly can. Yes, of course, Shelton, the specialist at that uh, maximum 180 shot. I think he's done just about 100 here at Blackpool over the 14 years of the tournament. John, you're the man who keeps all those kinds of colossal facts and figures. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, well, he hit uh, 10 in his first game against Chris Mason. Admittedly, it was an extended game, 13-11. Uh, and he had half a dozen in his most recent victory over Wayne Mardle. Shot on here, John, 134. Just tidy up, and that means that Roland Shelton knows he really has to take this 1-6-1. And he can't now. Taylor Breston on double top. 4-2, love. 95. Do we require 40? So tops for Taylor to go 2-0 up in this fourth quarter-final encounter here in the Winter Gardens today, no problem, and already with an average of 107.36, Taylor asserting some degree of authority. 100. Well, Shelton's resting back on 87.60, oh, so 20 points behind. If it continues in this vein, then it's going to be a much quicker match than that Lewis and Barnabal Classic. 100. Yes, yeah, truly a classic and uh, most certainly one of the greatest games here at Blackpool. There have been a lot, of course, over the 14 years that we've been here, or almost 14 years on the completion of this uh, particular competition. Blackpool, as only it can, gearing itself up for a holiday weekend, John. And, uh, 45. We have in town a freak show with a headless lady and a girl who lives in a goldfish bowl. It can only be Blackpool, can't it? <laughs> yes, but World Match Play Dance 100. is here every year. And it's the best entertainment in town. Yes, the rest of Blackpool more or less shuts down when we're in town. It, the show business fraternity here, I hate the darts. Nobody comes to watch their shows when these guys are performing. Like that, you can see why. Taylor picking off a maximum with consummate ease. And he'll be trying to consummate a victory here by uh, taking this uh, third leg and putting himself really in control because it will be two breaks against the throw should he do so. Shelton has a finish, 160, tall order. 100. Right into recoil, 160. So Shelton has got to hit some shots like this if he's going to live with Philip Taylor. Now, how often have we said, if Shelton puts the first one in like that, day, you can guarantee the second one's not far away, but on that occasion, it, wa it was. And now it really does mean that Taylor has a genuine chance to break the throw again. Tops he wants. 
56. Just underneath. And Shelton will surely look at 17, 18 and tops himself. Uh, double 12, got two darts at the double. Double six, an absolute must, I would suggest, even at this stage in the game. 69. Because Taylor, 20, wants for 3 0. First miss at a double with his last dart. There is his target, doesn't miss this time. So confident, so accurate, so professional, so Phil Taylor. That's the way he went 3 0 up. Game on. Game on. And if it's going to be game on. To the end. Of 31 lengths. Then Shelton really does have to 55. start here. 55 from Taylor. Step in, Mr. Shelton, please. Yes, he's, he's got to get uh, a few legs before the break. Goes in five zip down. 96. Already he will have an Everest to ascend in darting terms. Yes, the window of opportunity doesn't present itself every day. So make the most of it while you can. And 17 behind, so a genuine chance for Shelton to really get a grip on this leg and get himself into this match. Good darts from the Dutchman. Yes. Fruitful visit downstairs. Taylor for the first time trailing in a leg to any extent. Still room in the treble bed. 140. I'm sure that Taylor knows. Oh dear me. That 140 he scored just put a sufficient pressure on Schulte to hand the initiative back to the power. And how he accepts it could be his second, almost was his second 180, but uh, that uh, advantage that Schulte had didn't last very long, Dave. Just beginning to wonder, you know, John, if, if, if Shelton hasn't got his mindset right in every place, Phil Taylor, he doesn't seem to produce his best. And tonight we're looking at Taylor again to go four up here. Single 19 now will leave him 32, double 16. That's the target. 76. Yes, that's his way of going for 108. Four, there are several ways of going for that, of course. Shelton has to take out 164. To open his account, that's a good start. That's a brilliant second. Bully won't so oh, so close to what would have been a magical finish. And Taylor probably won't give him another chance. Unlikely. I don't know though. He's got to come right down the bed, the narrow side. Oh, squeezed it in next door. And Shelton, who is just.